Hi friends, I'm here with some yoga for the feet. I'm gonna offer a couple of stretches, a couple self-massage techniques, and a tip for bringing more awareness to your feet in your practice. So we're gonna start with something I like to call the dread toe stretch. So you might love it, you might hate it, and if you hate it, it could be really good medicine, in which case you might love it. So we're gonna kneel. So if you have sensitive knees, you may wanna put a blanket or cushion or something under your knees. And we're gonna sit with the toes tucked under. So this can be anywhere from mildly uncomfortable to excruciating. So as always, you can always come out of things, you can modify, you could take the pressure off by leaning forward. But if you are in it, or when you are in it, a wonderful thing to notice is reactivity. What's happening? Are your shoulders lifting? Is your jaw clenching? Is your face tightening? So we're going to hang out here for a little bit and again, come out of it anytime. So this is a wonderful stretch for the soles of the feet. If you experience sciatica, this can help alleviate that. See if you can feel everything that this is stirring up in you. And shoulders relaxed, face relaxed. Remembering at any time you can back out of it, either completely or just take a break and then come back to it. So great stretch for the soles of the feet, toes. Let's release and try the next one. So for this next one, we're gonna point the toes. Ah. And then sit back with toes pointed. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this. You can keep it if it's working for you. So just sitting like this could be a big stretch depending on how tight the tops of your feet are. For some bodies, this is a lot. You might even need to lean forward to alleviate some of the tension. For other bodies, you could go a little deeper and see what's possible. So maybe leaning back and possibly lifting knees. And some people are able to bring their knees right to their chest here. So you could play around to see where's your edge, stretching the fronts of the feet, breathing, feeling. See if you can relax your jaw, muscles around your eyes. Okay, let's release. So now we're gonna tuck the toes again. You might need to move them around a little bit and just take a little rock front to back. So this could be a relief from what we've just done with toes tucked under, taking a rock forward and a rock back. As you rock forward, getting into the toes again. As you rock back, getting into calves, ankles, Achilles tendon. Okay, let's have a seat. If you wanna sit up on something, you can grab a cushion or even sit in a chair for this. And we're gonna take one hand and thread the fingers in between your toes. So sometimes toes kinda get squished together, especially if you wear pointy-toed shoes. So this could be quite challenging. If you need to skip a toe, you can, but see if you can get all of your fingers between all of your toes. And then we're just gonna rotate around a few times. Go in both directions. This is something you could do while you're doing other things, while you're watching TV. Just put a little space between your toes. And while we're here, we might as well just give the arch and whole foot a little rub. And you can take as much or little time with this as you like. All right, let's try the other one. So taking all the fingers, get them in there between your toes. <laughs> and then a couple big circles both directions you can circle just the top of your foot or your whole ankle and then just give the whole foot a little squeeze rub okay last two things next one's from down dog this is just a little something you could add into your down dog. So from downward facing dog, 
we're going to take the right foot, turn it out, and step on the left, and then use the instep of one foot to massage the arch of the other. And this just helps bring a little bit of awareness to the feet through pressure and touch. So you can do both sides, turn one foot out, and just massage the arch with the instep and vice versa. They kind of fit together like a little puzzle. Just something you might add into your down dog now and again. All right, last thing. This is probably the most useful. I use this all the time. It's just simply lifting the toes. And what this does is activates the arch. So sometimes arches can get lazy and start to fall, flat feet, and then you experience all kinds of foot trouble. So just simply lifting your toes pulls up on the arch and gets that a little bit more tone. So this is something you can do pretty much any time the feet are on the floor. Anytime I come into mountain pose, I just take a moment, lift my toes, get my arches engaged, you know, in chair pose, in any of your standing poses, warrior, just taking a moment, lifting the toes, just to get that little lift in balancing even. It kind of brings the weight into this tripod of support, the center of the heel and the big toe and pinky toe side to even things out. So in your practice, just while you're doing regular yoga, adding in a little lift of the toes to engage the arches as often as you remember, just whenever you're able. So to review, we've got dread toe stretch, kneeling, and the opposite, toes pointed, possibly knees lifting, threading the fingers between the toes, a little self-massage, opening up the toes, down dog stepping on one foot, and then just lifting the toes. Hope that's useful, enjoy.